I receive the most baffling looks in principals and school management meetings when I share data on where the most injuries are occurring in a school system. Everyone is extremely surprised when I tell them that instructional employees are having the majority of our workers' compensation claims. For some reason, most school administrators think that custodians or school nutrition workers are having the majority of our injuries, but they are not. The majority of the injuries in and around our schools are occurring in the instructional category. And the most frequent and severe types of injuries are slips, trips, and falls, falls from heights, and strains and sprains. These injuries are completely preventable if your employees are trained properly. The second most common group of injured employees is school nutrition, experiencing about 20% of the claims. The next group is custodial, with about 12 to 15% of the claims. Then, transportation employees, including school bus drivers and mechanics, then your maintenance employees, then finally, administration, secretaries, principals, assistant principals. But each of these groups has distinct threats to their safety, and it's important to train them for the specific scenarios they can encounter on the job, not just a generic one-size-fits-all training. An administrative assistant won't give much use out of how to perform a proper lockout-tagout procedure, nor will a school nutrition worker get much benefit from the proper emergency exit procedures for a bus.